Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to Bendy and the Dark Revival. By the way, I've turned down uh, the graphics just a little bit because I think at the start when I was trying to record, uh, my camera was lagging. Once again, I don't know why that keeps happening, but it seems like it's fixed now. But if it does lag just a little bit in this video, I do apologize. But this is the very start of Chapter 5. We just got off the train with Wilson. And he wants our help with something. Something about uh, preserving his father, I think. Hello. Jeez, sorry, jeez. Alright, anything in- Whoa, hello. Anything in here? No. Let's head out this way. See if there's anything on this side of the tracks. It does look like there is a note. Old Track 77 is a quiet place these days. Ever since that terrible crash uh, a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had had reports of some train going through that wasn't on the schedule. There were figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows, but it never stopped to let no one off, just kept on going straight through. Some say it was the Silver Lane Express, the train that crashed, by Kitty Thompson. Hmm, paranormal? We saw her in, in the locker rooms when we had to find Wally Franks' code. And he was like, yeah, it's that code, like, eight lockers down from the pretty lady poster. I don't know if Wally's just a simp, or if, or if Diana means something. Anyways, let's press on. Anything in here? Absolutely not. The street exit. Ooh. Hey, get your hands off him. I tried to help you, dude. I'm sorry. Let's keep on going. Ooh. Another area. Is this the same place? I do think it is. Same thing down here. Mmm, yes. Ooh, wait, we're on this side now. Past the barriers. Another illusion of living book. Okay. And that is it. Awesome. Let's go find Wilson then, I guess. Up these stairs. Oh, hey. Hello. Um. <laughs> The demons <laughs> yes, that was your exit door. To spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet. Oh, there goes the dialogue too. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Okay, I see those flashing rainbow lights that we saw outside the gent building that killed Benny, or killed Bendy, uh, brought him down to his cartoon Bendy form. Hey, did you follow me in here? Oh boy, I don't like the look of this. The subject will stand in the designated location. What if I don't want to? By the way, I did up the uh, graphics again because it looks like the camera's running smooth. So hopefully it didn't lag in the intro. Hold on, let me just check. Ooh, the Tommy gun. And an axe. I wonder if I can pick those up somehow. Whoa! I don't have any. Oh, my pipe! I don't know, I feel like an axe, a gun... ...pretty different from a pipe. I don't like the look of this. Oh, whoa, hello. I guess it was that simple then. Can I take my pipe back? No. Hmm, can't take anything, okay. In we go, I guess. Wilson, the man who killed the Ink Demon. Wilson knows all. Hello, Wilson. Welcome to the civilized world. Ooh. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the Ink Demon's powers so he cannot pass them. Yeah, that's what they I talked about in the, uh, could say I experiment him, log. But it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. <gasps> Betty! Hey! Oh my god, look at that art. Wait, that's actually really sick. 
the south wing, the north wing. Can I speak to Betty? Hello. Hello. Oh. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Mm. Betty will show you to your room. Hi, Betty. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the ink demon, did you? No. He's too powerful to destroy. Oh, he just admits so it. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison. Different from my Bendy. He seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. Hmm. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. <laughs> Wait, Thank you. Wilson, one more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. Sorry. This way now. That is a bit of a weird stance to take, Wilson. Would you have believed me? Probably not. Ooh, I can't. I can't use my my linker anymore. Hello. Are you human or are you... I can't tell if that's a mask. I think that might be a mask. Anyways. To my room. Oh, here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then there's the north wing. What's wrong with the north wing? Am I allowed to explore different areas? I'm gonna assume so. It's a bench. Ooh, I can sit. Thank you. <laughs> locked door. Ooh. It did highlight it, but it's still locked. Nothing. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna go look at his laboratory. Ooh. That's blocked off. Okay. You ready? Am I going down here? The ink demon okay. got in there a while ago. <laughs> and ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. Oh no. Juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days. And they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance and you'll be just fine. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know, sweet. What's down this way? More rooms. Locked. Whoa, lag. Locked. It's not very often I have guests to look after. Especially one I can actually talk to. <laughs> Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. That's interesting. I do love her animations. The animations in this game are right. literally top notch. So goddamn house. good. Ooh, this you is can nice. See where I sleep. Ooh, about this room. Oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Hey, yo! <laughs> uh, thank you. This is actually a really nice place. For sleeping draft. Pinch of salt, cocoa powder. What is that for? Ooh. Very quiet, but... Peaceful. I like it. Drawer. Nothing in the drawer. There's a book, too. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> the Mug and the Maiden, Volume 1. This seems like an actual book in universe. I'm not reading that. <laughs> I'm sure you can find it on a wiki, or I don't know, maybe like Darko <laughs> listed off the full thing. I'm not reading that whole thing. Hello, Betty. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you... very old? <laughs> no. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Oh, wow. Although... I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But... Wilson will keep trying. And... do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. 
The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. <laughs> but Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Oh. Tell me, is that a good thing? Where you two are from? Bro, Meatly, you know Not what sure. you're doing calling her mama. <laughs> well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Ooh, okay. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions carefully. Oh boy, I better not mess it up. Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Oh, nice. I'm glad Betty's an actual, like, <laughs> decent character that actually tries to help us out and not, like, backstabs us and, you know, <laughs> gives us to Wilson. What's this? Gilson. What's a Gilson? Find a Gilson? That's a good question. I don't know what the hell that is either. Ooh. No. Okay, not in the drawer. Oh, boy. Not in that drawer. Is it in here? I can't even open those. Ooh, nice bathroom. Cabinet? Absolutely nothing. Um... I feel awkward, Audrey. I didn't know it would actually... <laughs> that was a bit awkward. Alright, well, we don't look too bad for our current situation. Any more Gilson? I, I genuinely have no clue what that is. Oh, I can leave. <gasps> I can leave. I bet everything's still going to be locked, though. Ooh, hello. Wilson audio log. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death can become a thing of the past. Wow. Poverty and hunger, a distant memory. Can solve anything. I can remake the world anew. But does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine. Said he was from the Gent Corporation. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing, and he left quietly. Later, I found his name on the sign in form Mr. Alan Gray. Ooh. So Alan Gray actually came around trying to get back everything that the Gent Corporation had helped out Joey Drew Studios with? Or not Joey Drew, but Archgate. You know what I mean. Oh, the library's open. Hello. A Theory About Spaces by Alan Gray. Uh, chapter 7. Do, 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 do. This okay. doesn't help at all. <laughs> Thank you for the commentary, Audrey. Fisherman Jibs. Mm, yellow perch. Gilson fish. Okay, so it's a fish. This one is strange little fish that is pretty hard to come by. The gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will ignore most bait. To make matters worse, the gilson can move very fast, making it a rare sight. Uh, the gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sweet music. Okay! So I gotta play the, um, the jukebox so thingy. looking for a fish? I suppose so. Chapter 9, simple snack, saucy, do, do, do. Ooh, chocolate bacon soup. There's Gotta be one here somewhere. Hmm. Not in that cabinet. Maybe in another room. I also wonder if I can find Betty somewhere around here. Ooh, this door's open. <gasps> Here's a fish tank. I bet that has the Gilson fish. That's a fish. You betcha. Let me look around quick first. <laughs> Funny. Piano? Maybe if it was closer. If what was closer? Oh, the fish and the piano? Wait. Ugh, he's too fast. Okay, so I need to bring the piano closer. How the heck can I do that? Can I push it? <laughs> Ooh, I can move it. Okay. I didn't know it had wheels. I thought it was stationary. 
How close do I need it to be? Apparently that is fine. Do you like this fish? Is this good? Looks like okay. Fish is asleep. I put it to sleep? I don't even see it. Oh, it's at the top. Oh my god, I killed it. <laughs> gotcha. You can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> uh, hello. I, uh, I forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> Oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Oh, I'm sorry, Harold. Okay, he's fine. He, he's swimming around. He's good. Whew, didn't kill him. <laughs> that was funny, though. Here, I'll be nice. I'll, I'll move the, the piano back, too. There we go. Listen, Harold, I'm so, so sorry, man. That's on me. Completely on me. Time to go back to my room. While I'm out, though, can I head up to the north wing? No, I can't even go to the main entrance. Okay, she took everything, so I'm guessing she's just gonna bring it up for me. What can I do in the meantime? Go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, here we go. Am I gonna make it? Now, hmm. just three sips of water. That doesn't look like good water. Sip. One. Oh, did she like drug me or something? <laughs> I don't like the implications of this. I'm gonna like <laughs> take the last sip and then just <laughs> fall over, pass out on the floor. <clears throat> oh! I guessed it right, but hello, Alice. Nice to see you again. How did she get in my room? That's my question. I sure would hope Betty would have heard me like fall and make a loud thud as I fell to the floor. Oh, I was almost afraid you'd miss my party. What? What's going on? Oh boy. Oh, Bit of lag. Yes. All right, it looks like my camera was lagging during that cutscene, so I've gone back. I'm going to do it again. Hopefully it's not. I've also found out that <laughs> this game is using like 4000 megabytes as it's running, so it's using up a ton of memory, which I'm guessing is just maybe poor optimization on the dev's part. I'm not sure, but that is genuinely crazy. So if it lags, I, I'm so, so sorry. And it looks like it might be. There's not much I can do. You know, I was going to say, wow, they made her a lot more, <laughs> like, generous. seductive in this game. And then she said that. Beautiful. Oh, boy. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, Did she always have a bow on her dress? Let's all play a game of riddles. Ooh, I'm good at riddles. <gasps> what a wonderful idea. No. Oh. All right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. Oh, nice. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heavenly switch here. <laughs> if you get the puzzle right, you walk away. If I get, get it wrong. It wrong. Oh, wonderful. Let's begin. 
talk? The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Oh, are they gonna help me out with the riddle? The bird won't have anything oh, to boy. do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay, there's a lot of info I'm gonna have to take into account. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves to play for company of the bear. Okay, so bird... Wait, bird likes the bear? Bird doesn't like fox. The puppet's fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Oh, God. Too pedestrian. <laughs> I gotta put them in a specific order. God damn you, Alice. And your twisted games. The fox has always hated the bear. Okay, so fox, they no bear. never sit next to each other. Fox, no bear. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. So fox no bear, but fox yes bird. What the hell? What am I supposed to do with this info? Do I relay it back to you? Hello, can I just flip the switch myself? It's right there. Just <laughs> just flip it and, and sprint. You can make it. Hello. Okay. What's this? I can sit down. I can climb up. Let's climb up. I don't think my camera's lagging anymore. Very annoying that that's something I have to <laughs> keep checking, though. Oh boy, what the heck? Okay. I might have to write stuff down. This is a lot. If I pull it, oh wait. I get two guesses, right? Two guesses. More than one guesses. Let's hope so. Nope, it definitely looks like it's. Okay. <laughs> Just hide in there the whole time. Audrey, what are you doing? <laughs> Um, nothing of use. Okay, I think I just have to figure out what order they go in. But I think I've failed, because I can't- I can't change anything. Oh, shoot! Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! You could do better this time. That's genuinely awful. Alice, you twisted bitch. <laughs> what was any of that? Hold on, I gotta listen to the riddles. The rabbit never sits with the bird. Rabbit, no but he bird. He loves to play for company of the bear. Okay, so rabbit needs to be next to bear, but not the bird. Okay, so no fox I and rabbit. I see them sitting together. <laughs> Is it also a coincidence that these are... FNAF at Freddy characters. <laughs> Fox, rabbit, bird, bear. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit. But okay. I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay, so bird next to the fox. <laughs> I am writing all this down. I don't know if you can see it. Very, very crappy handwriting, but. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. That sounds like the bear has to be on the far right then. Because he can't sit next to the rabbit. He can't sit next to the bear. He only likes the bird. What does this last one have to say? My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. Yep. After all, they went to school together. Bear, bird. Okay, so I think I've got the pattern. So the fox can't be on the left. The rabbit only sits next to the bear. So rabbit... Is that a bear? What is that? Rabbit bear. Bear sits next to the rabbit, yes. Rabbit does not go to the bird, but the bird does like the bear and the fox. The fox can't be next to the bear, so the bird... <laughs> I don't know if this is making any sense, but to me, it. I think it makes sense. Oh boy, here we go. Ow. <laughs> there we go. Just hop down, Audrey. Okay, here we go. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. <gasps> take that! Here, yeah, take that! Oh, no, I fried them all. I really don't like how these are all, like, <laughs> electric chairs. <laughs> hey, my freedom open! How much you want to bet this isn't actually my freedom? That doesn't seem like an Alice thing to do. Actually, give me freedom. Nobody likes a park 
sorry, I guess? Hmm, I don't have my gen pipe. Okay. Still don't have my gen pipe. Hey, my gen pipe. How the hell did this get here? Did she take my pipe? I really wish I didn't say that. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Fellas, fellas, fellas. Okay. Hold on, let me get down the ladder first. God. Okay, killed him. No, I was going to try and sneak around you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Darty, you two. Isn't there a snack machine? Yes, sir. All right, let's heal up. That's a lot of heals. Thank you. Oh, wait, let me turn off this. Duh. Whoa. Alice is not going to like that. Let me charge this back up. Not sure what else I have to do now. Probably fight Alice, but I don't know where she is. Oh, that turned off. Ooh, I can definitely fly up there. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, I see an Alice cutout. Ooh, that's not good. You missed Audrey. There we go. Made it. Hello, Alice cutout and Alice poster. Kablamo. That's what I'm going to do to you. Ooh. <laughs> oh god, she's got the Tommy gun. Oh my god. She's crazy. And that's why I like her. Oh god. Okay, so she shoots at any opportunity she'll get. Ooh, I gotta go up. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can't climb. There we go. No! <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Oh, I need to find another way out there. What is that? Oh, here we go. I can unlock this. Not sure what this leads to. But I guess we're gonna find out. Whoa! Did she see me? Oh my god. <laughs> oh! What's this? I'm pulling it. Uh, oh, okay, so that's open now. Interesting, interesting. Oh my god. How can I get in there, though? Okay, so when she's out of ammo... Oh my god, climb down, Audrey! When she's out of ammo, I'm guessing that's what I need to make a run for. Watch this. Boom! Dodged. Oh, okay, not that dodged. Let's sneak out this way. Oh god. Open, open, open. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, There's a door here. Open, open, open. This didn't really lead to anything that good. Go? Oh, can I even make that? Makes you think, why, do, why doesn't she just, like, come after me? She has a gun. Damn it. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but I think it's my best shot. That's the only thing I can think of. <gasps> Wait, I can get up there. Oh, she's gonna kill me. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Go, 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 go. Okay, this opened. Where does, where does this take me? Anything good? Ooh, another switch. Oh, it was double locked? I didn't even realize that. But I still can't get up there. Oh. She knocked down the boxes. Now I can definitely get up there. Oh. Oh. Go. Whew. Okay, now I can go up here. No. I'm nowhere you need to be aware of. Go, 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 go. Oh, I can go this way. That just leads to the same place I've been. Okay, am I gonna sneak up on her? She doesn't even know. I don't wanna go. Nothing back here. Hello, Alice. Oh, wait, no, I don't wanna banish her. I feel bad, my love. <laughs> oh god, now she's got me dangling. Surely that didn't kill her. It's only like a 10 foot drop. Yeah, that's what I figured. Final curtain, baby. 
Oh no, who's gonna save me? Another stab in the back. Oh, how history repeats itself, Alice. Oh, that's such a weird thing to say. It's our face. <laughs> that's even a weirder thing to say, Allison. <laughs> Beautiful. Aww. Always were. Damn. Why does this feel so familiar? Because <laughs> it's happened before. You're right, Audrey? Alice! <gasps> Tom! I can to tell you how good it is to see yes! you. Yes! And this must be your wolf. Buddy! Tom. He's my protector. My friend. Oh my god, he actually showed and up! I here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms, at least on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? Bobby. How about... Allison? That's still very That's close to Alice, Alice, to be all fair. Okay, I, like... <laughs> I'll try it out. But only if you can tell me. What in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat? Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. I didn't forget. What the hell are you talking about? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? Oh, please don't have a falling done. out. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. That's not uh, a good thing to say. If it's true... You'll both need as much help as you can get. The oh. ink demon won't go down without a fight. We've got a little Tom army on our hands. How about that? Friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? No way did I Oh, I thought I got the Tommy on. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, Tom, bro. It's good to have you. Is he going to like that? Oh, he does. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. It's so good to see you. I thought I wasn't going to see you. What happened to your ear? Were you always like that? What happened to your ear? And Allison, thank you for coming to my rescue. Again, I guess I owe you twice now. Uh, but that is where I'm going to leave this episode of Bendy in the Dark Revival. And I think next episode will, in fact, be the finale episode. But I had a lot of fun with this one. I think the puzzle was very, very neat. Uh, it made sense. It felt good figuring it out. It was nice to see Alice. I feel bad for killing her a second time. I don't know. I <laughs> thought maybe once, maybe we could actually, you know, help her out. Maybe she has a, you know, turning moment. She turns good. I just hate to see my love betrayed like that once again. But hey, at least I got, I got saved by Allison and Tom, bro. Once again, so good to see you. So glad we made up in the last game. And so glad you could finally make an appearance. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video of Bendy in the Dark Revival. And I'll see you all next time for the finale.